right, guys. Weekend's almost here. Super excited, ready to get to work. Remember, we're growing. Okay, we're ready to grow. We're playing the toughest competition out there. We're gonna be put to the test. We're gonna grind. We're gonna get tough. We're gonna learn. We're gonna be resilient. All right. Um, so I'm super, super, super excited. A couple things I want to go over. Make sure that we're playing at a fast pace. Okay, everything we do, I want fast. I want us to throw the ball around fast. I want us to get ready faster. If we have two outs, I want us to be ready. Boom, we're getting on the field in 20 seconds and we're ready to go. We set the tone. We set the pace. I want it to be faster. We get in the box, we get ready to go. We have our, our routine in between pitches when we're on offense and we get ready to roll. I don't want us to move at a slow pace. Pitchers, I want us to work at a fast pace. Fast pace. Hitters, fast pace. You set the tone. Don't walk anywhere. Don't lollygag around. Don't take your time. Work at a fast and intense pace. Okay? A um, couple things. You know, we, we've talked about this a lot. I want us to control our attitude and remain positive no matter the situation. No matter if you're down 10 to zero, and no matter if you're ahead 10 to zero, if a college coach walks onto that field or up to that field, they better think that we're winning 10 to zero. Your demeanor, your attitude, your energy, your passion does not change because of the score. So no matter the score, you remain positive, you remain uh, energized, you be that energizer bunny. Okay, um, no matter if we're winning 10 to 0 and, and you get bored or you're, um, you know, getting a little bit lazy, that's not the case. You have energy, you have a positive attitude all the time. Um, if you're 0 for 15, I want to see a positive energy. If you're 0 for 15, I want you to act like you're, you haven't got out all weekend long. You act like you are hot at the plate and, and your confidence should be beaming, okay? Um, control your attitude, remain positive, no matter the situation, no matter the outcome, no matter if the umpire is terrible, no matter if you just made four errors in a row, no matter, you remain positive. You remain positive and you create a positive perspective. Um, control your body language, okay? I don't want to see any rolling the eyes or Debbie the Downers or palms up girls or, you know, I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see you shrug your shoulders. They want to see you compete. Coaches want to see you compete. Fans want to see you compete. Your coaches want to see you compete. Don't have negative body language. Your negative body language feeds off everybody else. Your negative body language will make us look not disciplined. Create good body language. Be positive, have good body language, and grind one step in front of the other, one pitch at a time. Have positive self-talk, okay? What you say to yourself in between pitches is huge, okay? Positive self-talk. I can do this. I will do this. I choose to do this. I will be better next time. I will do this next time. Um, it's positive. I don't want you to think negative ever. I don't want you to think, oh, I hope I get a hit. No, we're not hoping. We're executing. Um, don't swing at the rise ball. If you say don't and you lead with, with self-talk of a negative self-talk, don't swing at the rise ball, what are you going to do? You go swing at the rise ball. Don't swing at the outside pitch. What are you going to do? Swing at the outside pitch. Have a plan. First, first um, strike she throws, boom, I'm going to hit it. First change up she throws, boom, I'm going to hit it. Have a plan and execute the plan. Positive self-talk. If she throws me an inside pitch, I'm about to crush it. If, you know, think positive. Pitchers, I'm going to nail the outside part of this plate. I'm going to rip my fingers. I'm going to pull my arm down hard. I'm going to keep my hand in tight. I'm going to attack the zone. I'm going to have first pitch strikes. I'm going to do this. I can do this. I am prepared. I know what I'm doing. I'm confident enough to get the job done. Positive self-talk. Um, positive perspective on what's happened. Because a lot of times we can immediately think the negative. The umpire was wrong. I made so many errors. 
There's a positive perspective of everything. It's how you look at it. If you make an error, you might automatically go, oh, I suck. No. If you make an error, you go, okay, what am I going to do to fix it? Because that error just helped you grow. That error just made you a better player if we can learn from it. Have a positive perspective. If you come up with the bases loaded and two outs, positive perspective. I'm prepared for this and I'm going to get it done. I'm glad I'm in this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to, to, to be the hero. Okay? It's a positive perspective. How you look at it. If you look at everything as an opportunity, then you are going to come away better after the weekend. If you look at this every opportunity of, oh, I have to do this, it's going to be hard. Okay? Look at it as an opportunity of growth. Look at the game as an opportunity to get better. Look at the game as an opportunity to play at the stage you're at because a lot don't get to do it. Have a positive perspective no matter what happens, no matter what the external factors are, no matter if the umpires are terrible, you're getting beat, um, you've made an error, you've struck out two times, whatever. It has to have a positive perspective. If you have a positive perspective, I promise you are going to have a positive weekend. You will come out on top. Um, have a positive perspective on what's going to happen, right? Don't, don't think negatively. You will get a hit. You el- will execute a bunt. You will throw first pitch strikes. You will command the zone. You will be on point. You will have energy. It's a positive perspective. And if it doesn't come out positive, we make it positive because we grow. We make it positive because we're getting better, Okay. Um, look at failures as growth. If you can look as failures as growth and, and take and be coachable, that's what we want. It doesn't matter what happens at the end of the day this weekend. It doesn't matter what, what your record is. It doesn't matter if you go 10 for 10. What did you learn? How do we walk away better? So we have to look at failures and take responsibility for our own mistakes because every single one of you make mistakes. I don't care. You can't sit here and tell me that you don't. Every single one of you misplay a ball. Every single one of you will get out. Every single one of you will strike out. Every single one of you will not back up. Every single one of you will will get mentally lazy in the mind. But you have to own it. You have to own it. You have to not make excuses and you have to grow from it. You have to learn from every detail, every pitch you learn from. Put your teammates' feelings and needs ahead of your own, okay? You just strike out. Don't be selfish enough to feel sorry for yourself because nobody cares. Nobody cares, you know, that you're super sad. Don't be that person that brings everybody down because you're selfish about your own feelings. Put your teammates' feelings ahead of your own. Okay, put your teammates' feelings ahead of your own. Look at your teammates. See how excited they get when you get a hit. Okay, don't put your own feelings ahead of your teammates. Put your teammates' feelings ahead of your own. Think about your teammates before you sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Think about your teammates before you go over there and want to sit on the bench and cry because you didn't do good. Because it's not about you. It's about the team. Put your team's feelings ahead of yourselves. Um, or ahead of your own feelings, sorry. Um, put your team ahead of your desires or your fears, okay? If you get up there, you're a little bit scared, think about your teammates. Think about your teammates grinding. Think about your pitcher grinding. Think about your teammates that are on base. Put their, their feelings and think about them before you think about your own fears, Okay, because too many times we get put in pressure situations and we're scared. Well, that's being selfish. Don't be scared. You're prepared. I've prepared you. You've prepared with your teammates. You put a lot of work in, so there's no need to be scared. You live with the outcome. You live with the outcome that happens because we get better. But when you get up there and you get scared or you're so scared of making a mistake, you're putting your own feelings in front of everybody else's. Okay? Put your teammates ahead of your own desires and your fears. All right? Um... And, and have fun. Have fun. Have fun with energy. I want to see you dancing around. I want to see you come up with crazy stuff in the outfield. I want to see you high-fiving. I want to see you have passion. I want to see you fist pumping. I want to see you creating routines with the outfielders, two outs, 
pitchers. I want to see you pointing at your teammates who makes good plays. I want to see you giving high fives. I want to see you jumping up and, and maybe doing some type of move to your teammate. I want to see you doing maybe a TikTok out there. I, I want some fun. You know, because if we're having fun, we're doing things right. We're doing things right. And last, stay confident. Stay confident because you are prepared. I have prepared you. You have prepared yourself. You have put in a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and just stay confident. If it doesn't work out, grind. Stay confident. If it doesn't work out, hit those cleats. Yes, hit those cleats. Hit those cleats. Um, point to the pitcher. Give her a little look. And go to war. Go to war. Stay confident because you are ready. You are prepared. You, you. I love you guys with with everything and and put everything I have into you guys. And you are prepared. You are prepared. Believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself and have fun. I'm super excited about this weekend. Uh, I have a super good feeling. I know we're gonna have a lot of fun. I know we're gonna get a lot of hits. You know we're gonna have a lot. We're gonna go strike them out, pitchers. We're, we're gonna do a lot of good things. We're going to do a lot of good things. We're going to do some bad things, but we're going to learn from those. All right? See you guys this weekend. I'm ready for it.